Cadarese is a place where I really love to spend time. It's really quiet. I feel like in peace with myself. It's the place where I improved as a trail climber and where I started to, to bring my vision about trail climbing on the rocks. And tribe, especially, is the route has witnessed all the stages of this, let's call it evolution as a trail climber. I remember when I saw the line for the first time, that was in 2014, I think. And that day, I just climbed all day on, on easier routes, on which were challenging at the time for me. And yeah, I simply didn't fog that this line would have taken six years of my life. I'm, uh, I'm filming. No, no, stop chewing this smoothly. I first met Jacopo on expedition at La Reunion. He was obviously very strong, very talented, and very shy as well. That's good now. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. And on, absolutely business. unable to jam and to crack climb properly. Come on, Jacopo. Make that meat fat as possible by pushing. If it's that way, you push. OK, at the time, he, I don't actually think he'd ever really been trad climbing. But um, it seemed like he was, you know, a young climber that was just hungry to, to learn new things and discover a new world. After La Reunion, I invited him pretty often to come and climb with me and my friends. We were discovering these places, Cadarese and Jutesico, and he started being intrigued by this group of people and this style of climbing. Jacopo l'ho conosciuto la prima volta a Jutesico. Quello che mi aveva colpito era il fatto di essere veramente una persona alla mano e proprio umile, ecco. Di Jacopo apprezzo molto il suo percorso, no? È passato dall'essere campione italiano di boulder ad essere uno degli atleti più polivalenti e validi che ci sono in questo momento. When I stopped competing, I asked to myself what I wanted to do in climbing. And, uh, and trail climbing was the answer. Like when I when I first tried it, I, I realized that that was exactly what I was looking for. In trail climbing, you don't have any bolts, so you have to find a way to protect yourself using just the features of the rock. The gear you place is is not always safe, so it's way more engaging than sport climb. I simply love the fact that I had to deal with my fears, like I, I was scared, but at the same time I had to focus on the actual climb. It was a huge challenge for me at the time, it still is, and that's probably the, the thing that I love the most about it. And Cadarese is the place where I, where I found the perfect playground for that. Through the years, we've been walking this path, thousands of times. And there were a few lines that were obviously too futuristic for me and my friend's skills. But some of them I saw they could possibly be climbable. Jacobo was visionary enough to go upsail the line and check the features. I remember when I wrapped down on the route the first time, I was really uh, impressed by the beauty of the line, but at the same time, I had the feeling that the last section was impossible because it was so blank and the holes were so far apart. It's impossible not to look at it. As you walk up to the crag, it's there. It's one of the first things that you see and it's just staring you in the face. It's one of the most you know, beautiful small trad routes uh, that I've ever seen. He could see there was a possibility of this line to be climbed although the run out was serious and the falls were long.
At first it seemed to be going pretty good. I knew how good of a climber he was and I just assumed he'd link it all together pretty quickly. But the thing is, on stuff like this, even if you can do the moves, it doesn't mean you can link them. And even linking two of those moves is already a really, really tough effort. I mean, we're talking about double digit boulders up there. It's seriously hard climbing. When I started trying the route, like seriously, it didn't matter if I, I couldn't find a partner. I spent like weeks just uh, camping at the base of the cliff and climbing along, trying to move. I was, I think, really, really driven. I hadn't experienced that before. I think I was so obsessed by the line because I didn't know if it was possible or not. The cool thing about this process was that a lot of people just showed up and they started to offer their help. Like, they came to, to help me out with the project, they helped me to, to build a landing. I met so many people that I didn't know before and um, they became my friends. And we just shared a lot of cool days at the crag, sharing the same vision, the same, uh, the same passion in a place that we all love so much. And maybe it was exactly this feeling that motivated me the most to keep on trying the route. It takes a real amount of determination to keep on going back day after day after day, trying things, sometimes even failing lower than you had done before, and just keep on pushing towards that ultimate goal, that ultimate dream of seeing the thing become a reality. Aveva fatto Rhapsody, la poterapia, Gondo Crack, in tempi rapidissimi, quindi tessuto di 8C, 8C più. Per il tempo che ci ha dedicato si vedeva subito che era un tiro di un grado superiore, proprio di un'altra dimensione. He did so many hard routes over the last couple of years. It's pretty crazy in all sorts of different styles. And they all went down really fast, you know, in the space of a couple of days or maybe weeks. And still his project in Caderese remained elusive. Lui ha cristallizzato secondo me il tempo, no? gli ha creato attorno questo rapporto sentimentale ed è la cosa che mi ha affascinato molto, no? Cioè la voglia ancora di attendere, attendere che le cose succedano e prima o poi succederanno. I remember that a lot of times I thought about just giving up and I asked myself, would I care? And in those moments, I always 
try to think why I was doing that. It was my desire to, to climb that thing. It didn't matter how long it would take. It was just important to know if I could do it or not. What I learned from tribe is definitely the importance of believing in our goals, like in believing ourselves, even when uh, we have a lot of evidences that that maybe we are not doing the right thing. But if we really want to do something, that's that's probably the the only right thing. <laughs> Tribe was definitely like a personal process, but all my friends played a really important role in it. They show me what the climbing community is, and uh, I'm really thankful for that. That's why the route is called Tribe.